Lil Nas X is an icon. <clears throat> Dancing right? What the fuck? I can't stop motherfucking going in. Spit some yin and yin in Thailand just to buy gin. All he rap about is violence, moving silence. Niggas try to. This is something a little personal to me, as I don't see it being talked about enough. And in spite of recent events, there's no better time. Now, I'm not one who usually talks about celebrity culture, but this one struck a different pose for me. You may know him from literally the biggest song ever, Old Town Road, or like fucking Twitter. I don't know, I, I tweet about him a lot. He's pretty big there. In recent times, Lil Nas is a celebrity, a musician, and an internet persona that people actually care for. And with me, he's the first one I've actually been able to see myself in, if that makes sense. Nas started off as an internet persona, you know, like me, right now, except without the the furry part. What does that have to do with what am I- Just a casual dude on Twitter who made memes and was a rapper on SoundCloud on the side. Like seriously, it can be anyone. You know, after a long day, this was much needed. Which sent to present day makes me really happy. There seems to be a set of rules that all celebrities follow for some reason. Like there's a certain way you have to act and you pretty much can't interact with any creators on the internet. Like why? Yet not sex, since he literally was and is someone just like us, doesn't follow these rules. He consistently fucks around with internet creators. Recently he was on Lover Host, and last week he was on an SMP stream with Dream, Corpse, and others that I can't name right now. Shit, this motherfucker even did a Roblox concert as promo when he dropped Holiday. I know damn well he signed up for that partly as a joke. I would do the same shit. It would be hysterical to do that. Don't you be a meanie, thought you wanted me to go, why are you trying to keep me teeny, yeah, it's a dreamy. Uh -huh. But what's insane about this is seeing such a highly talked about celebrity, which he's basically leading up to be an A-lister at this point. I mean, he has the biggest billboard hit of all time, and he's easily the most talked about celebrity in the past two weeks. Doing things like this, not following the strange, unspoken celebrity social media rule. You know, where they have really broad tweets or no social media presence at all and pretty much only join interviews or speak to other people in their field. They're super out of touch. Montero breaks these rules, and it's really nice to see that. A celeb that just just acts normal because I mean that's what they are but him once being the internet persona and coming up naturally is only one thing about it that's a little inspiring to people like me who's also an internet creator but I said Lil Nas X is iconic now if you didn't know I'm you know it's a little you know what I'm saying Gay! And a few months after Lil Nas blew up he came out as while this was for some reason a heated subject it made me really happy it made me happy as a gay teen that the person who has the biggest song in the world is someone who's just like me. He's just like me. He, he's just like me. In a climate where it's been shunned all my life, it was a nice change of pace. It was refreshing, without a doubt a power move to unleash it the way he did. The funniest part though, is a lot of people said it was alright, as long as Nas X didn't, you know, actually show it. Kinda like a, yeah man, it's alright that you're gay man, just don't shove it in our face man. You know man, just, just stay silent about it man. And, and what did he do? The opposite. Are you in a relationship right now? Some whites. All Some right. Whites. Cause you're very good looking. You're, yeah, yeah. What's made me especially happy is seeing him succeed even further and only get bigger since then. When everyone thought he'd be a one hit wonder, he'd spiral into several more. With Call Me By Your Name, this was maximized. This was amazing. Like others, my friends and I waited nine months ever since the original snippet dropped to bump this damn song. And when it came out, we watched the music video. I thought Lil Nas was bad as hell. Like, I thought he looked damn good in the Satan scene, until it pissed everyone off. Now, most of you already know how I feel about homosexuality and LGBT, especially as it relates to the black man. But I think this is a good thing. This sparked a lot of controversy because apparently Lil Nas was supposed to be a child star and an idol for children because his breakout single was a country song. Yet, if you actually fucking listen to Old Town Road, <clears throat> my life is a movie. Bull riding and boobies. Riding on a tractor, lean all in my bladder. Cheated on my baby, you can go and ask her. I mean, for real? If we're talking about the music video for Montero itself, my faithful thoughts, if it was some female pop star giving Satan a lap dance, it wouldn't be this big of an issue. I'm just saying. Anyway, the song fucking smacks, obviously. I've listened to it a little too many times. But having out of pocket lines like this, Fly it, shoot a child in your mouth while I'm 
are good. There was a similar one on holiday. On my bottom on the low, but I'll top it. I don't know about you, but that's lyrical excellency right there. That's peak music. You see, the reason why I mention this is there's always been super out of pocket lyrics in music, but having ones like these from a gay dude, well, it's it's new and it scared people. Also, the censored versions are really funny. I pop this. You tried to put me in a bubble, but I popped it. Nas even said so in his genius interview that this was the intention, and it works. But I, I was like, okay, it's about time that. I say something out of pocket in a song. It's like the exact same way with when I put on my bottom on the low, but I top shit in holiday, you know? It's kind of like, okay, let's normalize having these fucking lines and songs. The same way, you know, somebody might talk about fucking a girl or fucking a guy, you know, with opposite genders, you know? I feel like that's really important for representation in general. And this is gonna open more doors for one day when somebody says this, it's like, oh, that person said that. And not even think about it, you know? Oh, oh, why me? So once again, having someone like this to look up to is really nice. His ass is getting sued though, but I think the shoes are hard. Like, I think these go stupid. I would have bought them if they weren't a thousand dollars. It just makes you feel good having a character and a person in the industry that is truly an individual. Someone who doesn't quite care what critics have to say and is consistently fighting against the norms that are presented against them. One who everyone doubted and coming on the scene breaking not only barriers for himself, but breaking genre barriers. And of course, the possibility for LGBT audiences everywhere. These things in itself are legendary acts, and it's what brings me to say, Lil Nas X is an icon. Garden, you know that I can. Call me when